to another VOD review. This is another silver game, Sejuani this time. I actually haven't done a Sejuani or any sort of tank style jungle review yet, so this is pretty exciting. I love tank jungling. Um, it's a little bit different from the like really aggressive junglers that I've been reviewing. Like all, I got a lot of Lee Sin in there, Jarvan. Um, these junglers that can like push level two ganks. It's fun, but um, I love the slow sort of style pace of uh, tank junglers that become so tanky and doing so much damage with Cinder Hulk, the burn and stuff like that, and just being unkillable. That's that's my League of Legends. So I'm pretty excited about this. Let's start with Sejuani's runes. Um, so Aftershock is what you want to be going. It procs off your Q and your E and your ult. So you have lots of ways to get this off. Um, Demolish, you can go, but... I'll be going Font of Life. Um, it procs off your abilities as well, and it helps your team members heal. Like it's just better, like skirmish, especially in like lower elos like this. I'd be going that definitely. Uh, conditioning, overgrowth, good, good, good. And then <clears throat> in this tree, you want to be going precision. Um, you can go uh, the stopwatch in this to help you get stone plate better. But I actually don't really like the stone plate build to be honest on Sejuani. Um, and I definitely don't recommend you going that um, in as you sort sort of start climbing the ranks. Just I'll put the build in the description of this YouTube video if you're watching over on my blog. It'll be in my full notes over there as well. Um, so definitely switch that up to what you want to go is Triumph and Legend Alacrity. Um, Triumph is really good as a tank. Like if you can get that one kill off, and then it's already taking so long to kill you, and then you're gonna get an extra like 12% health back, and you're like, oh, now I gotta like keep killing this Hedron, it's so hard. It really helps in those like those skirmishes. And also, um, Legend of Lacrity is just really good to get your E off. You know, you wanna get those, get your E four stacks of your um, like frozen thing, and then get the stun off, and uh, what's it called? Permafrost, I don't even know what it's called, permafrost. Um, get those four stacks, and yeah get those stuns off. So switch up those runes and let's get into this game. Let's clear this. So let's just get to draw on his vision. So I'll be looking at this game here. You have Trin vs Garen. This is pretty hard to gank like after early levels. I would probably be avoiding top as much as possible. Bot lane's very vulnerable. Bot lane looking really good. And mid lane, Azir, you just want to keep safe and farm. It's a bit hard to kill Kiana. So Bot lane should be your focus this game. So it looks like you're sliding red here. Quick tip, whenever you're like on your buff just in general, never be waiting like in the early game for your buff just to spawn. Like you want to be defending it in some aspect, like um, either like if you're, you know, on this side of the map, you know, like you're defending like here, or if you're on the other side here, you're defending your red like here. So where you should be right now, if you're sliding red, um, is like just standing here just in case an invade happens here or here. Um, waiting for this is like waiting for death. It could be coming like all the way around here. This is bad news for you. So, um, yeah, that'll help you survive some games. So definitely take that tip on board. And so this path is interesting. So I, I know on my channel, I've talked a lot about starting red buff and it's still fine to start red buff and Sejuani, but I actually feel um, that starting blue, both sides, is just better because unlike Sejuani going back to the tank sort of jungling, is you're not really going to be able to utilize your red buff until level 3 at least on Sejuani. You sort of don't really want to be ganking as well like early game on your tank because your, your clear is like pretty like not good. So Sejuani takes like a lot of damage and doesn't kill camps like as fast as like other champions. So... Um, I'll make a separate video follow up to this with my recommended jungle path and it's about starting blue and I think that if you take that path instead of red this will really sort of change like your whole early game. Alright so now we're going to Raptors. Oh, he freeze here for a little bit. Alright so never start, uh, never go Q second. Q is your third ability at level 3. You need W to clear these as fast as possible and clear your camps just quick R Qs. Too long of a cooldown, and um, it only gets like one stack of the um, permafrost thing, and W gives you two stacks, so you can get that stun off quicker. And again, it's on shorter cooldown. Alright, so taking definitely a lot of damage in the jungle here. Again, watch my video that I make for Sejuani Clear, and it will um, 
definitely help you be healthier in the in the jungle in the early game. Alright, so top lanes look like they're trading some kills. Looks like they've burnt flash. Again, taking a lot of damage here. So you see Yi here, this is good information for you. Now you know that Yi has been bot side. So this could potentially be an option for you to go check like his camps in case he did raptors or um, golems. And um, yes, you do have an opportunity to gank top here. But it might be a bit difficult with a Garen. Garen's like pretty tanky. Okay, so he gets away. So bot potentially will die here. Okay, that's not good. All right, so that was like pretty uh, inefficient pathing. So your best options in those situations was to check his golems. If it's not there, then you base and you go to your golems. So golems is what I talk a lot about on my channel and my reviews. Golems is the your best friend as a jungle camp, as a jungler. So it gives you the most experience in gold, and you want to be clearing that off the map like as soon as you possibly can. Like it's amazing it will really get you like level advantages over the opposing jungles especially junglers in this yellow that just aren't taking um golems here so he hasn't taken this so um this would really start accelerating your levels your strength all right so again this is really inefficient so um you have like a bunch of gold right now you spend it get your jungle item get a pink ward pink wards win games um, these aren't spawning for like a little bit longer, so there's not really much opportunity to come here. Like mid's full health, Azir's not a lot of mana. Um, yes, I would say like this is gankable, but Kiana's like, she still has flash up. Like this is just pretty much gone. Like there's no, no much, there's not much CC. You don't have enough damage really to kill Kiana, especially with her, um, stealth ability. So I wouldn't be ganking mid here. So you really got to prioritize your camps, especially in the early game as a tank jungler. You need to be getting... Because your clear is like pretty slow on um, as a jungler, like the only way you speed that up is by getting your items to give you the Cinder Hulk, like the burn uh, item to clear camps like you know, Raptors and stuff really fast. Like Because, again, you're going to be building tanks, so it's really difficult to clear camps in the early game. Uh, so you do burn a flash, that's good. It was pretty close to kill, to be honest. Um, just do Raptor Camp straight away here. I know Garen's coming down, but, um, you could get these, like, pretty quick. Actually, no, I, I, I take that back. It, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I, again, I'd be basing Go Golems. Like, your, your bot's all spawn in here, and, um, Garen probably actually could have contested you on that, so. Um, yeah, again, no need to walk down here like this. You have a thousand gold. You spend your gold to you clear the camps even faster once you get your jungle items. That's why you, the, the speed that you will clear, especially and again pink wards, you need to be putting those on the map, defending your lanes. Again, bot lane should be like your priority focus here. They're like doing pretty well right now. Look at the CS advantage. Um, that's what you need to be doing. Right now, this is pretty inefficient jungle passing. Alright, so clear a pink here. So you're looking at Zaya here, she is low in health. Alright, so, um, Bran just died, yes he's going to be coming back soon, but it's pretty difficult to, um, especially without flash, like, you don't want to trade one for one here. So, yeah, looks like you're going to die here. So you can just be patient, like, the wave's pushing in, like, there's no need to rush that kill. Um, and you definitely don't want to queue in like you did because once you queue in you suddenly have no way of escaping You don't have flash um, All you have to do like is just throw out your W like he might dodge it um, So yeah, just throw out your W here. There's no need to queue just play patient It's good him being low health on this tower suddenly he's all limited even if you like don't get the kill here like 
This is this is awesome for him. Like he's stuck on the map now. You're cutting off his path. He's gonna not be able to get CS, and um, the bot lane's gonna be able to get a good chunk on this tower. Get some turret plate in. So yeah, it's really bad. It's fifteen hundred gold. So yeah, definitely this is the item you're going to be getting. So Bami Cinder, like once you get this item, then your clear suddenly becomes a lot smoother. Alright, I'll be doing golems before you do red. Um, there's nothing, there's nowhere really for you to be right now. They took drag early, which was um, sort of something you couldn't really prevent. But um, yeah, go clear those golems off the map as much as possible. So yeah, so this is um, sort of prioritization where you need to sort of change your mindset here. So bot's base, there's nothing suddenly for you to do here. Like there's there's nothing, you, know, you can't 1v3 these guys. Mid lane again, like in the mindset of this game, like especially with the wave like here, just let this mid lane match up. Just try and protect Azir. Like old Chuck, if you had a pink ward, chuck a pink ward here. Um, and then just go do your camp, like clear your camps. Yee's bot, this is, could potentially be an opportunity to go into his top side. Um, you're going to do nothing here. This is, again, inefficient. Like, you, I guess you could say, like, oh, like, I'm going to wait for bot to come here. We can potentially kill them. But um, at the, end of, at the end of the day, like, this this is still, like, eight minutes in the game. They could get some plates, but clear clear up. Get your camps. Be, like, you need to help yourself before you can help others. You need to be getting strong. That's your job as a jungler as well. You can't just be um, helping people all the time um, when you're not strong yourself. So... You could clear your camps up top here, go all the way up here, then base and then come bot. Again, I say that you want to focus bot side. I'm not saying that be bot all the time, but you need to clear your jungle first and then you have permission to go bot. You should be definitely level 6 by now. And level 6, Sejuani is very strong, obviously, getting your ultimate. Uh, so this is the 1v3 situation I'm talking about. There's nothing you're going to do but potentially die here. So they sort of like misplay, overstay, Tristan is getting a bunch of kills. There's not much you can do here, you're on like 10% health, just get the base off, good. Alright, so good to go top side, but again, I don't think you've clicked golems once in this game. Which is really, this is why you're level 5 and Yi's level 7 right now. So purely because of, um, you're not prioritizing camps, it's you're having a huge level disadvantage. Again, the rule being, help yourself before you can help others. So now you're level 6. Again, I'll be avoiding top lanes a lot now. Uh, Garen's full health. Um, what does he have? What items does he have? He hasn't bought back yet, but... There's just, you just, especially being level 6, without red buff, you're not going to do enough damage to kill this guy. Alright, so you kill him, oh, get really close. But again, it's sort of like a bit of a waste. Look at bot lane, they're 5 and 1 right now. The, you can even get a shot down here on Zai, they're like the waves in an interesting position, but um... You know, they're low, like, start setting up dives, get this dragon. When it's As soon as your, if your bot's winning, like, this hard, make it sort of your duty to try and get dragon with your bot lane um, before 10 minutes. And you can do that through, like, pink wards, obviously, obviously through ganking, getting kills bot, um, and definitely a sweeper as well. You should be getting sweeper by, like, about your second or third base, about 9, 10 minutes. So you're wasting a lot of time top here. I know you're trying to get your demolish proc off, but again, look at your jungle. Help yourself before you can help others. Alright, so now you're clearing. I'm not sure why you skipped Gromp there. Definitely do Gromp first. Now your path is really going to be really awkward because this will spawn and like if you come topside. You have like one camp to do potentially, so that makes it pretty awkward. So it looks like they're, you know they're on dragon. 
it's good to check them here. So they've already gotten like, um, Yi's really chunked here. So this is an opportunity for you to, um, Zia's come in, like there's no need to engage onto this. So you should just be looking to hit drag and drag it out to here. Force them to start coming in, in to you. They have melee champions versus you can have a Tristana and an Azir. So you never queue in like this. I know you're trying to get your Aftershock proc, but like your team's not close enough to follow up with you fully. Alright, so they do eventually get two kills because they commit to you, but again, you don't want to be sort of dying like that. Um, deaths are really bad, especially as a tank. Um, okay, so again, you need Sweeper here, and Sapphire, Crystal, I'd be, buy again, buying two pink cords. Pink cords, pink cords, pink cords. Alright, so Toppy's definitely lost. There's nothing you can do here. You're three levels behind, and, um, three levels behind, and you don't have enough damage to kill him. So, again, you should be sacking top. This is where you need to be. Dragon's up. You're all bot side jungle. Again, Golems is up. Your best friend, uh, Camp is a jungler. And yeah, you should be helping bot. You, this is like a potential dive just for you and stuff. So yeah, he's like defending it for them. All right, so obviously because he's bot, you do have the opportunity to do rift. Pretty risky though, I would say, because Garen was just here, this is pushed in, Trinity May can't help, and mid has push as well, so this is this is pretty risky. You guys aren't terribly ahead. Um, Garen could make your lives hell right now, but looks like he's not here, so yeah, he based. So this is risky, but it works, but again, I want you to analyze the thought process there, like looking at lanes. Garen can potentially come, Kiana can potentially come. So I really like this Rift on mid, actually. Uh, my rule is, is if you can break in mid with Rift Herald is the best tower you can get compared to side lanes because breaking this first tower suddenly opens up the map for everyone. So because of this, you can suddenly push waves in and then you can choose the side of the map to go to off that. So mid lane, very important tower. All right, so as soon as you get this tower, you need to back off. So, you instantly have a man disadvantage. Like, look at all, again, look at your camps here. Like, look at bot. You don't have enough. Everyone's missing on the map. Their bot lane was roaming up. Identify when you have a man disadvantage and just leave it. You want to drag them around the map. If you suddenly ran bot side, help bot get tower, then they're going to be like, oh, like, we just came mid. Now i got to go all the way bot. Um, this is just giving them, like, a free opportunity to get a bunch of kills. There's no way you're going to get this tower. This is fighting over nothing. There's four versus um, three here. And your strongest member, which is Tristana, is not with you. All right, so again, you want to be going straight and clearing your camps. Um, bot side camps have been up for a long time, so... Okay, so I know you're trying to help Garen here, but it's 15 minutes into the game. Garen's never going to have the opportunity to hit this tower for free. Um, again, focus on clearing your camps here. You need to help yourself before you can help others. The next objective in this game, because you've broken bot, is actually this top tower here. So coming here is actually good as well, because then you can work your way up the jungle here and meet, um, hopefully, your team's pushing top and then meet them on here uh, as soon as all your camp camps are done. So that's like maximum efficiency. This is too much like just thinking of kills over objectives. So again, just a lot of chat. And this is what I definitely notice in silver games compared to um, like platinum, diamond. Like there's a, a lot of chasing kills and not um, thinking about like, what will these kills get me? So sure you can get these kills and like you can say like, oh, well now I'm free to do my camps. But you could have done your camps not taking this fight at all and be looking at top tower. So I actually might end the VOD here. 
review here. Like anything like past this point is um is like I don't think it's going to be useful. I want you to first think about again the rule: help yourself before you can help others. You need to be clear in your camps. Like as clear your golems pretty much always on spawn. If you if you do this, you'll feel a significant difference in your games. Um, you'll have level advantages over um, the enemy jungler, and you just feel like a lot stronger. And definitely do that path that I'll, again, have the video link in the description below of the Sejuani video that I make, I'll follow up to this. Uh, do that path, and you'll feel like you have a lot more options early game, especially staying healthy in the jungle. So again, this is the silver one review um, for Sejuani, and I'll catch you guys in another video. Thanks for watching.